since we're talking about snow, let's go ahead and talk about the long forecast here. So we've got about six minutes here, so they pay very, very closely attention to this forecast. So right now, areas to our northwestern tier right now should already be seeing the snow, especially up there in Hopkinsville. I was showing you radar a little earlier, and yeah. we were seeing the snow from Clarksville, even up towards the Hopkinsville, Kentucky area, not that long ago there. And again, remember, this is heavy, wet snow, okay? This okay. is heavy, this is a heavy band of wet snow. So it does not take long uh, for you know power outages and stuff like that to happen. And uh, I've got some great information here in this forecast, so you don't want to miss that. If you're in Nashville, Sumner County, Macon County, even down in parts of Williamson County, Columbia and Waynesboro, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. is the time frame for you. And this is a fast moving winter storm. Cold front already got here. It, it got here faster than what we anticipated it to be. So uh, you notice that earlier today, the radar was half and half. So we saw cold and we saw warm. Now everybody's dealing with the cold weather here. If you step outside right now, it's a little chilly out there. Cumberland Plateau counties, I expect this to be to you between 10 p.m. and midnight uh, will be the time frame for you. So just definitely keep that in mind. We also have the winter weather. Um, the winter weather headline still remains winter weather advisory. Winter storm warnings all go out tonight through tomorrow morning, all right? So that's why we've got that Storm 12 alert out, just because we want you to be precautious, we want you to be mindful of what's going on of your surroundings. Now, here's another question I've been getting asked about all day. Lorante, how much snow are we going to get? That's been a constant question all day. Let's show you what's happening on that radar. Here is a look at the forecast snowfall uh, amount. Again, two to three inches, really possible across portions of Middle Tennessee. Cumberland Plateau, you know they get a lot more than what we get. Three to four, up to six inches is possible in some of our Cumberland Plateaus. Let's specify that here. Jamestown, Crossville, and areas really towards the far eastern tier, you could pick up anywhere from maybe four to seven inches of snow. It just depends on when this system gets in and how much is dropping at a time. That's what it depends on. So uh, there is your exact answer on how much snow will fall. Now, again, I was just talking about heavy, wet snow. Um, again, here's one thing that you need to remember here. Heavy, wet snow bonds to tree limbs, okay? And that, and, and that always doesn't turn out too well here, folks. And eventually the weight becomes too much causing tree limbs to snap or entire trees can fall over. Strong winds is another thing uh, during or after the heavy snow can cause additional tree damage. Now is the time to prepare for possible power outages. Move your vehicles into the garage or away from trees the best way you possibly can. Another thing that I do wanna mention here really quickly here as you're looking on your map, dressing dressing in cold weather do you know the difference chilly cold extreme cold take a look at this map for just a second here if it's chilly one to two layers long layer pants out layers you want to make sure you have like gloves maybe warm shoes if it's cold outside two to three layers of shirts a jacket gloves one to two layer of pants warm hat out layer that is to keep out the wind and wet snow also boots waterproof okay make sure they're waterproof boots are a great way during the event of cold weather extreme cold three and up of layers you got gloves two and up with pants shorts whatever it is you want to wear hopefully you don't wear shorts in winter weather warm hat face mask out layer that keeps that wind away okay also boots is technically the same thing so just kind of keep that mindful there now we're going to talk about the snow chances here. So it is about 6.30 uh, right now. So about 7 o'clock here, I went on ahead and took that up to about a 30% chance. You'll notice it is in orange, all right? But notice we go from there to 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock, where we've got a 60% chance of that snow really starting to move into the mid-state there, especially by the Nashville area. And then by 10 and 11 o'clock, we've got that 100% chance of, of snow in the forecast. All right, so this is gonna be that overnight event, so just be mindful of that. Here is a look at your super seven day forecast here. We've got the Storm Pro Alert out that is in effect for tonight that will be running through tomorrow. It's gonna to be running through the all morning hours of Saturday. We will cancel it by the afternoon, but we want you to be weather aware of what's going on. Take a look at these highs. That's what's gonna be going on here. This is why exactly why we say weather whiplash. Take a look at the seven day forecast. So we're gonna go from 31 as a high on Saturday 
to 51 as a high on Sunday. <laughs> Isn't that something? And then check this out, it gets more interesting. 51 on Sunday to 63 on Monday. And then we're gonna watch for a rain shower that will try to impact us on Tuesday. It's not gonna be a really big deal, but 30% chance of rain on Tuesday, still staying at 63, but you look, 63 on Tuesday to 69 on Wednesday, and then we touch 70 by Thursday of next week, and then we drop back down to 68 on Friday.